very very carefully. I get a b square cos a. Now if I take a b common, I get b cos a, correct? Yes. Now I have to look for a similar term which has got a square b. Yeah, I can find it. What do you think? Correct. Right? Now the benefit of it is if you take a b common, you get b cos a plus a cos b, which is nothing but a b c. Correct? And then similar. In a similar way, you can find a b c from other terms coming up. So a b c plus a b c plus a b c will end up giving you 3 a b c. Yeah. Okay. Now 
year, the benefit of doing that is at least focus on the first term over here, this term. It is cos 0, cos 5, cos 2 pi, 3 pi, 4 pi, like that. So then that comes to 0. Now, do you realize that this term is going to be 1 minus 1, plus 1 minus 1, plus 1 minus 1, and so on. So basically there are 11 terms. Correct? Isn't it? From 0 to 10 there are 11 terms. Isn't it? That means? It ends with 1 sir. That's all. It ends with 1 or minus 1? Minus 1. Minus 1. Minus 1. Minus 1. Minus 1. This is cancelling. This is cancelling like that. First 2 cancels. First 2 cancels. So first 2 cancels. So basically this will be your fifth pair and then last one is plus one. Plus one. So this term will be just one. Cos cube the last term. Cos cube the last term. Cos cube the last term. Okay. Now what about this? If I start putting the values. Shhh. I see the top. Not top. Do you realize I end up getting a cos series whose angles are in AP? Whose formula I had already given you the other day? Sin n theta by 2 by sin beta by 2 cos of 1 plus n minus 1 theta by 2. Sir, instead of doing all this, if we substitute, we will just get it much more quickly. Get the answer. But it's not fun. But what happens when you get cos 7? Okay. No, even if you put it in one day, even if it's one day, you don't decide by the exact value that comes in one day. Yeah, it comes in one day. So what is the formula? What is the formula again? How many of you please turn your pages back? Sin alpha plus n minus 1 by 2, right? If you don't, if you don't remember this, please turn your pages back. Yes. What is this? Sin n. Beta by 2 pi, then you are going to tell me the formula. So, alpha plus cos minus 1 by 2 here or by 2 whole? By 2 whole here, beta by 2. Okay. Now, as you can see here, alpha is 0, beta is pi by 3, and n is how much? 11. So just apply the formula. So it becomes sin 11 pi by 6. So can you just do substitution? Yeah, that's better. What did you get one? You will notice very good practice. So what is the assumption of the basic model? See, I think it is Isn't this 2 pi minus pi by 6? Yeah. Which is going to be minus 1. Correct? Isn't this 5 plus 2 pi by 3? 5 plus 2 pi by 3, which is going to be? Or you can say uh, 2 pi minus pi by 3 also. Which is equal to? Half. So you're going to get minus half from this entire exercise. Is it? Now going down again. So the one second, one second. Going down again. This becomes one fourth. This fellow is one. This fellow is minus. Minus half, right? So you get minus three by two, correct? So can you give it So answer is minus one by eight. So one second put it go down, sir. Can I give a simple one? So you substitute and it's all. So I have a... So one second we will scroll to the end of the month. Who doesn't find out?